Good evening, YouTube audience. Uh, back with Creation. Uh, just wanted to get on here real fast and thank you guys so much for the subscribers, those watching, uh, family that has rallied around me uh, with this endeavor. It's been a lot of fun so far and I look forward to having a lot of fun in the future. Uh, today, I'm going to show you guys around my art studio, including all of the tools that I have and um, that I use and that you might need if you start this uh, hobby. And so here we go. So you come into my art studio, it's a little garage in Missouri, and in Missouri, and it's actually a beautiful little town. But you come in and I've got a few things I'm working on, some blinds that probably turn out pretty cool. Here's a table on the ground, it's a galaxy. Another table over here, this one's pretty neat. Uh, and so I've got some paintings up. Um, and these are, a lot of these are pretty big ones. This is a three foot by four foot canvas, and there you have a nice long board. Better get that out of the camera. That's my brother's. He might know that I have it. Just kidding. Okay, so um, anyway, moving on. So over here I have um, a bunch of tools here. And so I wanna show you these and what I use them for. So here's some sponges. I use those for textures on trees, leaves, uh, and other textures. Here's some straight edges. You'll need some of that. That's the hard plastic that comes out of buying a canvas like this, a 12 by 20 canvas. Um, and so I keep those for straight edges for waterfalls and uh, you name it, water, all sorts of stuff. Um, and so here's some little sponges. I've got some bins that I pull paint out of with the sponges uh, and then some stencils. So planet stencils. This one's flat, has different uses. Um, and then you have, you know, plates and other round objects. Uh, one of the things I am gonna go over in uh, a little bit later in this video is a, a tutorial on how to make uh, planet stencils, a good way to make them. Um, so here's a bunch of my paints on my table. This is kind of my ready table where I paint, my blow dryer to dry paint. Uh, one of the most important things you can have, uh, I talked about the mask, that's super important. Uh, you don't wanna get these chemicals in your lungs, but it's a spinning table right here. So, you know, all I did was took two pieces of wood and for 12 bucks I got a, uh, you know, a Lazy Susan uh, attachment and attach them to these pieces of wood. And so now I can, you know, spin my art and work on it from different angles. Uh, that's a very important uh, thing to have as you get into it, uh, in my opinion. Uh, this here is something I'll be showing you how to use for making planet stencils. A little work area. I try to keep it organized. I don't like to have to search around for things. Uh, this is my preparation table. So right here next to the spinning table. I put all the paints that I'm going to use on the painting, paint brushes, scraping tools. Talked about those in prior videos. You want a couple of, a couple of those. Yeah. Uh, pretty much sums it up. Got my stereo system, little boom box from the eighties. Not really from the eighties, but that's what I think of. Hey, we've got some eighties music going. What do you know? Uh, also, you know, a couple of things that I want to talk about with ventilation, heat and cooling. So you have these industrial fans I have right here. Um, you'll want to keep those blowing if you're not in a well-ventilated area, um, blowing out, uh, even in an enclosed area, you want to have those on blowing out if you can, if it's not too cold outside. And so speaking of cold, we have these. So this heater right here, I keep on all the time and it warms my paints. I have it next to some of my paints right here. It keeps my paints warm so that they're, they spray fine and, and how I want them to spray. And this one, this heater, little heater has a, um, a blower on it so that I can put it next to the paintings while they dry if I want them to dry faster. So that is the little tour of the Creation Studio. And now I'll be going to the proper use of a protractor. Okay, you guys, so one of the things that I've noticed around my house is I have a lot of different sizes of lids and, I mean, you name it. Uh, but I don't always have the right size and sometimes it's gets in the way of a project if I'm making a small planet and this is too tall. For instance, if I want to make a line, a, a, a star explosion behind a planet, it's really hard to do with this and have an even flow of spray. And so what I found is I make my own planet stencils. And so, for instance, this size, this size, and it goes on and on and on. This size, this size, all the way up to this size, and the 
giant planet. So I bought a protractor with a swing arm on uh, Amazon Prime for I think 13 bucks. And it is a heavy duty protractor. Very, very um, useful. If you've never used a protractor, let me show you how I do this. And so this right here is the lock. So you can get it to the size that you want it for a giant, huge circle. You can see how big that circle could be, right? Even bigger. It'll make a 30 inch in diameter, which is a crossed circle. Or you can go all the way down to a little tiny circle. And the way you use it is, you have this pointy side and you have a side that holds the pencil. And you always wanna have a sharp pencil, which I don't have on there right now, but there's a little screw that you can adjust your pencil pull it out, sharpen it, put it in. This swing arm opens to as wide as you want your circle. And then you just place the pointy part right in the center of your circle, however you want it. So if this is six inches across, you'll have a, a 12 inch in diameter circle. The way that you lock it in there so that it doesn't move on you is you open this up, this little side tool here, put this arm in there underneath, and then you tighten it down. That's not going anywhere, locked in, at about a nine to 10 inch circle in diameter. They make perfect circles. And so this is a really handy tool. Um, one of the things that, uh, so after I make the circle, I have a very sharp cutting knife, a little X-Acto knife. You can see that there. You can get them at Hobby Lobby, Walmart. I think I got this at Hobby Lobby for six bucks and it came with extra blades very sharp, please be careful when you use this. And I just go and I cut my circle out. So I've just recently done one right here. The result is this, okay? And then when I get done doing that, I'll just take some tape and make a little handle so that I can pull it off of the painting without disrupting anything else going on, nice and quick. That's how you use a protractor. That's how you make planet stencils of any size that you want. I use poster board, and if it's a really good circle that I cut out, I'll go ahead and take some clear tape, and I'll coat it, like laminate it with my clear tape. I don't have a laminating machine. Or you can use your laminating machine if you have one. Thank you very much for tuning in, uh, and I will put on a tutorial of a painting I've been working on very soon. Appreciate the audience. Subscribe if you like what you see, if you learn. Uh, comment in the comment section. I'll answer any questions. I'll take any suggestions and any, adv any advice and any uh, paintings that you guys would like to see me do. Have a wonderful evening.